a UFC heavyweight showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Chico. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your point. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 approach. And you see a guy in the striker who knows. Whoa! Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the controls and the posture as that big knee lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Beautiful right hand. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see him. He is all about that left kick to the body. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big kick lands. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from his hook. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Try to establish that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And there comes the separation now. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Ooh, head kick lands, hurt landed. Oh, a huge block there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Unable to land with that punch. Big head kick lands. Michael engaged in a single collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, just misses with the kick. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh! He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh! Continues to work the body here. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Single collar tie now. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Nice body kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, big head kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Wow! Oh! Huge right hand to rounding down. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Goes back to that left kick once again. 
Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at Whoa! type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Under three minutes now to go in round two. <laughs> Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. What a punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Single collar tie here. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh! He's oh! oh! to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chico! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.